up that morning, she's she's awakened by glass shattering and what she believed to be shots fired, fired being fired into her home. Uh, the crime free life, her entire life. So she's woken up in that that morning, eight in the morning. She thought that she had a home, that her home was being invaded. She thought someone was there to take her life. Um, her being a licensed carrier in the state of Florida, she fired uh, her firearm in, in self defense. She fired five. She fled to the uh, the bathroom and uh, got into the bathtub, crawled into a bathtub with her, her fiance, as well as her, her small Yorkie, and she called the police. You can you can hear the fear in her voice. What's happening? Ford continues to talk to the dispatcher. Are you in the bathroom? 7232 Rutledge Pearson Drive, correct? Yes. Do you know who's shooting? Oh, wait, what? Wait, that's the sheriff's office. Okay, hey, 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 hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 has has failed Miss Ford, and uh, moving forward, the only justice coming out of this is going to be if these charges if these charges are dropped. Um, and but for the people, but for the people coming around and, and, and us putting this story out and bringing awareness, and the mm -hmm. people the people coming together, Miss Ford would still be down at the Duval County Jail, held on that half a million dollar the um, comparable nature of this case and, and Breonna Taylor's case, and and. The, the issue here is that this charge that they've charged Ms. Ford with, um, the mandatory sentence, it's life. Mm -hmm. Example, I think that we can temper justice with mercy and do the right thing. And I think it's gonna take awareness to this, this story to really be able to just to expose the, the facts of what took place. And I, I, I'm, I'm assured that one thing that I would say that, that everyone could do to, to really, really help me is there is a, a petition. We're up to about 15,000 uh, signatures now on change.org. Um, mm -hmm. And it is a petition asking the state attorney, Melissa Nelson, to drop these charges against Ms. Ford.